This morning, well, as you've heard over the last few months and probably noticed in your own neighborhood, Idaho is growing. This is true. Much of that growth is happening in rural areas, including those in the Treasure Valley. And one spot once considered a hidden gem is finally getting uncovered. Yeah, our Natasha Williams is live in Melba this morning. And Natasha, how are they preparing for what could be a population boom? Well, Kristen, first and foremost, there are three proposed housing projects here in the small Canyon County community, and if all of those come together, Melba could see more people moving here than they've seen in decades. So today or today I am digging into how that possible growth could impact the city's infrastructure. Idaho's population grew just over 17% in the past 10 years, right behind first-ranked Utah. That means, according to census data, more than 270,000 new residents. Data shows the largest numerical increases were in and around the Treasure Valley, with the majority near Boise, and that growth didn't slow down in 2020. You know, Idaho, or the open spaces, there's something about the, the, the attractiveness for uh, people outside of the state that they felt this was still a great place to go to even during a, during um, the challenges of a pandemic. Census data shows 70 of Idaho's more rural cities saw a decline in population in the past 10 years, and 60 of those 70 cities now have fewer than 1,000 residents. But a rural town on the outskirts of the Treasure Valley is proving to be an outlier. Our media partners at the Idaho Statesman report there are three proposed subdivision projects for Melba. The first would be 18 homes and would be located over on Randolph Avenue. The second would be 32 homes and would be located on Blue Ox Lane. A third proposal would bring 11 homes to Northwest Melba. Although this proposal was denied by planning and zoning, the developer is expected to submit an updated application. The proposed projects plus a 26 house subdivision that's already under construction could add more than 70 new homes to the Melba city. The city says they have room. We have room for 184 more homes um, to be built in the city limits for water abilities, uh, you know, to be able to meet fire compression and all that stuff. But the additions would mean a population boom, the biggest the city has seen in decades. Melba has a population of nearly 600 people, and that means 260 residential homes. But if these new subdivisions go up, the town's population could nearly double. Being kind of hidden has, you know, kept people from, I guess, discovering Melba. But again, we, we all saw the future that the growth was going to happen. Earlier this year, the Melba City Council voted to impose an emergency six-month moratorium on new subdivisions, similar to action taken by city leaders in Caldwell. The reason? City officials say the biggest thing they really need is time. Our city limits are not that, that big, and there's only, only so much space we can actually expand and annex in. We've seen what's happened to some of these other towns. Some things have been good, some things have not. And we want to make sure it's done right because we only have one shot at this. Melba residents reached out to Idaho News 6 with questions on how that potential growth could impact the community. A big one is how this growth could impact education. Right now, the Melba School District follows what's called an open enrollment model, essentially allowing students to enroll regardless of where they live. As we're looking at growth, we may have some room right now in first grade but we're not going to take as many open enrollment students until we see what what is going to happen. The new growth also raises the question of crime. The city of Melba doesn't have its own police department. Instead, they work with the Canyon County Sheriff's Department. A spokesman for the Sheriff's Department sent us this statement saying, quote, the proposed growth wouldn't really have much of an impact on them, end quote. Officials explain if the growth brought a spike in crime, the department would evaluate and adjust from there. Now, city leaders do explain that this growth, even if it is to this extent, will be several, several years down the road. Even if these subdivision projects are approved, construction will still take time and people moving in to actually fill those homes will also take some time. So this growth is not immediate. It will be several years down the road. Live in Melba, Natasha Williams, Idaho News 6.